Welcome to another connection here on TKO8 Television. Dennis King, Tabitha Odegaard, it's always a pleasure to be with you each week as we uh, bring different organizations and entities into the studio here and talk about what's going on around the region. And it's important uh, for you to know what's going on. We have a lot of things going on. Sometimes we don't realize all the events and all the nonprofit organizations mm -hmm. that have programs uh, for everybody out there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's new for us. We, we, oh, we learn a lot of new it's things about what's going on. So it's exciting to each week come yes, and, can it. do this. It's great. How are you doing? How's everything at the fitness ah, club? Ah, fitness club is going really good. Going good? Yeah. Every time I go, I can never find a parking place in yeah, the parking lot. Yeah, there. I, I agree. Yeah, it's, I have that trouble too. So, so the move from where they were out by the mm -hmm. bowling alley mm -hmm. over to uh, the, the center where they're right between Nature's Wonders and Ace Hardware, mm -hmm. it really made a big difference, I guess, to the to the business clientele. Absolutely. I think it's just more um, noticeable. we got a big sign now. It's a neon sign, and we're uh -huh. going to get another sign um, we actually have a spa as well so right. um, nail tech some tanning and massage therapist um, teeth whitening we just got everything going everything. on just stop yeah, yeah I mean we do a lot of stuff well and you you do spin classes which mm -hmm. is a little different a lot of people don't understand the special bikes that are like riding a regular bike but you do spin classes three or four times a day, morning, right. midday, and afternoon. And yeah. you teach at the college, toning, toning classes, and you right. teach weightlifting and personal sure. training. And sure. mm -hmm. What do you do in your spare time? <laughs> Rest? <laughs> exactly. Rest my body. Rest That's a way. lot of working out. So if somebody did want to find out about spinning or something, mm -hmm. what do you give them, a one free trial? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, always first class is on me. So so they can come out and try it and mm -hmm. see if they like it? Absolutely, and, and regardless if it's a toning class or if it's okay. a... Um, uh, spin class, sorry. They, they can just try it. And mm -hmm. If they like it, then you'll give them a schedule, and here's all the times. Oh, and so yeah, forth. sure. Well, well, that um, sounds like sounds like fun. And I'm pretty sure, guys, if you try it out, you're going to like it. Either you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. One or the other. <laughs> That's what I've... You will definitely get some exercise, though. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely get so. some. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. We're going to talk about some other ways to get exercise. It's the big senior games coming mm -hmm. here on Connect. When I went to Dental Creations on the square, I was I, I had been to two or three different places and I could tell right away that was the place I wanted to be. Being a performer in Branson, I was desperately needing something done to my teeth, but I didn't have no room for finances and she showed me this package plan and now I'm making monthly payments on my new dentures and very affordable. If anyone is looking for dentures, I recommend Dental Creations down on the square because that's the place to go. For 22 years, Harrison Parks and Rec has been making a positive impact on our local economy with the Community First Bank Sports Complex, the Brandon Burlsworth Youth Center, and the First National Bank Soccer Complex. A wide variety of sports tournaments are possible, and thanks to these quality facilities, teams, coaches, family, and fans from all around the state and region have helped boost our local economy by $2 million annually. Harrison Parks and Rec making an impact for our kids and community. Back on Connection here on TK08 Television, Dennis King and Tabitha Odegaard, and our first guest today is Angie Dunlap. Angie, thanks for being with us. You're welcome. Yes, Angie's with you. Area Agency on Aging, and mm -hmm. uh, I, of course, I know you have this event every year, but when I got the notice from you guys, I thought, well, we need to have her come in and talk a little bit about it. Some people don't understand that they can get involved in this. Absolutely. It's a, it's a yeah. pretty big deal. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's a really neat deal, it really actually. Is. Yeah, is it? uh, it's been going on every year. So, Angie, we're talking about the uh, senior games. Um, where do they hell hell hell? Where do they do those? At? <laughs> this year, we're very excited to be uh -huh. at the new FS Garrison Stadium. It's our first year to be out there, so we're very excited about being in that new location and using that great facility. Okay, and that's the new football uh, field. Yeah, yeah, the new football boy, field. Well, and, well, it's got the track, and so that's perfect right. for your games. Absolutely. Actually, there they just finished redoing the track, I guess. And now they've got, do they, do they have a place for the shot puts and all the different... And the discus. Oh, discus and everything. Oh, that'll yeah. be nice. Mm, nice. Neat. Artificial turf up there. Yeah. You don't have to worry about any mud if it's a little wet. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that right. makes a big difference. So what it. kind of games do you have? 
We have all kinds of events going on that day. We do walks and runs. We have a 50 meter dash, a 100 meter dash. They do 200 meter run, 200 meter walk, 400 meter run and walk. There's an 800 meter prediction walk. We throw discus and shot put. We throw javelin. There's a basketball shoot. Um, there's a daisy air gun shoot. Wow. We have um, a skip bow and dominoes for just fun events. We have a balloon bust. That's a fun event. Okay, what's that? A balloon. <laughs> it's a relay race oh, for balloon okay. busting. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. And then um, we also do. Um, uh, look at my list to see what else we've got. Um, a softball throw. We also do a nail pounding event. How many times do you hit a nail to get the nail flat into a board? So. Nice. Wow. So lots of fun things that go on that day. That's amazing. I mean, and, and to be able to go and have fun and still compete with people your own age. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you know, of course, you're in the health business, health care business. Mm -hmm. and, and I think even though, unfortunately, we talk about obesity across the country, particularly young people, but for all ages, obesity mm -hmm. is a, a big issue because Definitely. of eating habits. But it's good to see seniors uh, that... You know, I want to do maybe do things that are a little healthier and maybe do things more competitively as they grow older, and they can still do a lot. Absolutely. I, mean, I, I tell you, you see some of those guys out there and gals running. I tell you what, they can beat a lot of young people out there. That's exactly why we do it. We yeah. do this every year in celebration of Older Americans Month, uh -huh. and that's what we're promoting, that um, to stay active and to stay healthy as you can, we want our seniors to be as independent as they can for as long as they can. Yeah. And that's what the senior games are about. Wow. That, that, so it's an all-day event? It is an all-day event. I'm assuming that would take all day to it, do this. It is all day. We start um, opening ceremonies, begin at 9. Mm -hmm. Our first uh, events begin at 10. Mm -hmm. Last event is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So oh, it wow. is an all-day so event. Non so non deal. All day. Yes. That, do you serve lunch for the seniors yeah. or do they bring their own? They or? usually bring their own. We have our senior centers usually bring vans with um with our participants on it. We do have some individuals that also come and our senior centers bring meals for their participants and those that come on their own usually bring their lunches also. Wow. Oh, okay. Very good. We okay. do provide some some drinks and things like yeah, that. Sure, for the deals. Oh. Wonderful. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, you go right ahead. Uh, age group. I guess we need to find out yes. how what the age Anybody, anybody who is 50 years of age or older, mm -hmm. if they turn 50 before April 5th of 2013, they're eligible to participate in the games. And I have people up to about 95 years old that participate. Wow. Very cool. 95 years old. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. How many uh, do you normally have? Last year we had about 330 senior adults participate in the games. 330, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Keep mm -hmm. it. So now, how do you staff it? I mean, you know, your right. your agency. How do you, you have to have we volunteers? Have, we have about sixty full time staff members that really? that come from all of our nine counties. Okay. For that day to help out, but I also am very dependent on our volunteers. Okay. We have some volunteers from our staff, uh, spouses and and friends from um, our staff volunteer. Uh -huh. But I also have some Harrison School volunteers and then some Bergman high school students that volunteer every year and without them we could not do it oh, gosh no that, sure. that's a lot of people to in all these different events and so it takes probably <laughs> what 80 to 100 it people takes about a hundred part a hundred staff and volunteers to put the event on each year that's a lot a huge number of mm -mm -mm. people that's fantastic. this is a big deal it, it, it really is does it cost anything to um participate it is a ten dollar registration fee, um, and that is they can participate in as many events as they choose. Okay, so they. Uh, what was the other, oh, this is uh, area agency. Uh, or, excuse me, area agency on aging. I'm so glad you did that. Did you do that on purpose just to <laughs> make me no, feel I good? No, I kind of got it all going there. You got to say that real quick. Area agency on aging, Northwest Arkansas. So that is what nine counties is that what that is? So you've got yes. you have people uh, that come in or seniors that come in from all the region. Yes, we actually have people that come in from all of our nine counties, but we also have some that come in from out of state. We've oh, really? had people from Tennessee before, Indiana, um, Oklahoma, Missouri. So we have people that come in from other places besides just Arkansas. Wow. Our well, little town. That's one one cool. thing I think we were talking about before we came downstairs mm -hmm. was even though this particular event is mm -hmm. not a it's not a qualifier for a national event, 
that a lot of these people come in to practice Absolutely. because they are going to p participate in a national event. So it's like a warm-up type thing for some of the. Obviously, if they're coming from other states, they want to come to this because it's a competitive situation for them just to right, participate. Right, right. This gets them tuned up for whether they're attending the state games in September, or you know, just to, if they're from another state, they can. This is another event where they can come and practice. Okay. okay. So, do you, what's the variety? Is there, are they majority of them? This is what they do. They work out all the time, or. We, this level. we have all all, kinds. all types. We have some very serious competitors, and then we have some who are serious about the fun stuff. Absolutely. <laughs> that, oh, yeah. What about the breakdown of, of male-female? Mm. Male-female, that's right. When you participate at the senior games, you're participating against your gender, so your male or females compete against each other, and also within your age group. So, okay. And the age groups run um, starting at 50, 50 to 54 would compete, 55 to 59 would compete, up through however old the last participant, the oldest participant is. So is it about a <clears throat> five-year, four or five-year span, it's, each yes, group yes, type thing? Oh, that's yes. good. So you're competing with pretty well your own age right, each one of those, right. which is, that's good. Is there uh, the balance about half and half? Is more male, female, or could you, um, can you we're tell? We're usually pretty equal. We usually have a few more females than males. Really? Oh, okay. cool. We do. We do. Women that? rule. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> Women rule. Okay. Oh, I guess we need to tell everybody, um, where is it at? Again. Or where is it at and, and when? Okay. Time? It's going to be May the 2nd. It's on a Thursday this year. Okay. Um, opening ceremonies begin at 9 o'clock at the F.S. Garrison Stadium on the track. Um, and we'll go until it's over that day. Now, I noticed in one of the uh, information sheets, uh, and you don't have this one, mm -hmm. but uh, that there's some activities that actually take place somewhere else around? Yes, oh. we actually do um, eight ball pool uh -huh. events. Those are actually going to be held in Newton County at the Jasper Senior Center. Okay. We have women will play eight ball pool on April the 12th. And the men play eight ball pool on April um, the 19th. And okay. like I said, that is at Jasper at the Newton County Senior Activity and Wellness Center. Uh -huh. And then we do a bowling event that will be on Thursday, April 25th um, at the Cottonwood Bowl here in Harrison. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we do singles, mixed doubles, and doubles on that day. Um, and then we have an archery tournament that takes place at the City Park in Bowl Shoals, and that is on May the 11th. Okay, so so the 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 region or the nine county area, these are kind of preliminary events to the main, to your big one, which yes. is the big draw. Yes, obviously. we can't. We there's not enough time in the day to do, to do eight it. ball pool and bowling and archery all on that day. So we gotcha. kind of have start. We start in April and we end um, on the eleventh of with this event. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You got your work cut out for you. There's we no do. doubt we that, do. many, that many people, but it's it's nice to have that many volunteers and staff members that, that you can do that type of thing. Re if you want to register, that's before we go. Yeah. If you want to register, we have you can call our office at 870-741-1144, and we can mail you a registration form, or you're feel, feel free to stop by. We're at 1510 Rock Springs Road. Okay. Or you can access it from our website at www.aaanwar.org and click on the news and there's a story for senior games that will have the link well, with the registration right form. There. So yes. go by the office, give you a call, or get online. Absolutely. To register. Could you register that day? No. There is a deadline. You need to have your registration into our office for the track and field day by April the 12th. Okay. Um, if you just want to play eight eight ball pool, you need to have your registration in by March thirty first. Okay, so they they do need to pre register. For yes, pre registration. I okay, I think we covered everything pretty well, didn't we? Mm, Can't think of anything I'm we thinking. missed. Rain or shine. R Rain, Rain or shine. shine. You gotta Rain or be shine. There. As long as it's not lightning. And thunder, <laughs> well, go. we do have the inside facilities too at That's the, right, the cash center. The cash center yeah. there at the stadium. So we're going to do it. Rain do it or shine. Moment. Fantastic. Well, good luck. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. That's a great thing for uh, for the seniors to be able to come in and mm -hmm. participate at whatever uh, level they are yep. and have fun. And, and there's so many wide varieties. They really Something are. Something to do for Angie everybody. Dunlap, thank you so much yes, for coming in. You. We appreciate it. Thanks and, for and Good luck me. with the, this year's Senior Games. Thank you. <laughs> Stay with us on Connection. We'll be back in a moment to talk about a, another event, first of a kind, 
that three different organizations here in Harrison are going to put all their efforts together, and it's important. We'll be back on Facebook. HealthGrades, the leading independent healthcare ratings organization in the nation since 1998, has named North Arkansas Regional Medical Center as a recipient of the HealthGrades Joint Replacement Excellence Award for 2012. NARMC is ranked among the top 10% of hospitals in the nation for joint replacement, for total knee replacement, for total hip replacement, and for hip fracture treatment. The best in care is right here at home, NARMC. At First National Bank, we're making banking easier with free checking, secure online bill pay, agri loans. We're meeting your financial needs. First National Bank offers what other big banks do, along with some things they don't. While we're big enough to provide you with the services you need, we're small enough to know your name. We offer our customers eight convenient locations. Come see why First National Bank is the right bank for you. First National Bank, the right bank. Member FDIC. Back on Connection here on TKO8 Television, Dennis King and Tabitha Odegaard. And we have another special guest in our studio today to talk about something very, very important, something brand new to this area, but it's a traumatic, traumatic situation for a lot of people across the country. Uh, Jeff Lahr, thank you so much for coming in today. And uh, Jeff's actually here representing the Lions Club. Uh, so we want to give them a boost yeah. here, uh, Lions Club. But but Jeff actually kind of orchestrated this this thing that we're going to talk about today, and something that I did I wasn't familiar with much, and that, and was actually talking to Ron Richardson, another one of the uh, Lions Club members at the at the fitness club, mm -hmm. and he was telling me about it and said you need to have Jeff come in and talk about this because it's something that's going to take place here in Harrison that it is really across the country and around the world it's a major problem and it's blood disorder blood disease so uh, mm. blood cancer i guess we will talk yeah. about look just to briefly why don't you kind of get into that jeff maybe <clears throat> there there's all lots of different kinds of blood cancers sure. and um there's you know thousands of people that get blood cancers every year and it's one of the leading leading causes of death in the united states so it's uh uh, the most common is leukemia, uh, lymphomas, uh, and there are several other diseases that are uh, anemias or whatever, and uh, I'll kind of get into some of that a little later. Okay. All right. Uh, the, uh, so wh how did you get on the bone marrow thing? Uh, just okay. well, quickly kind of What mentioned. started it all is this article in the Democrat Gazette uh, in December. Uh, Hold that right up there. Just and there's right a, there. a picture of a lady here named uh, Leslie Harris and her son. And that kind of grabbed my attention. I started reading the article, and it turned out that she had found out she had cancer when she was nine months pregnant. Hmm. And uh, she had had lots of illness, and her mother knew something was wrong. And finally, they uh, did a test, and they found out she had leukemia. The next morning, this was late in the evening, next morning at 2 o'clock, they uh, induced labor, with, uh, did a C-section. She could take no painkillers because she had uh, leukemia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No fire block or anything, so yet she was a tough place. She gave birth to the baby, and they thought the baby would probably die due to the leukemia. Turned out the baby was completely healthy and had no leukemia, e leukemia even though it had been living on the mm -hmm. mother's Thank blood. Wow. And this picture shows them 14 months later. Uh, I found out a lot from reading that article, but uh, most people live 6 to 18 months when they uh, get this get leukemia so she had already kind of bucked the odds uh, I'm glad to say that just in the past month she found a matching donor and is going through the process and hoping that her body won't reject it but uh, so far she's doing well didn't you say that it took 14 months to get that well it takes uh, well how, I mean how long did she have to wait yes. to get the right well, she was uh, she'd be almost uh, 19 months before she found a donor. 
Wow. And that's it, pretty scary, knowing that you're going to die, yeah, well, or normally, maybe she's, die she's, she's, if you can't find right, the right sure. person. Yeah. Wow. And she said she got most of her strength because she's trying to stay alive to take but care take of her baby. Take care of the sure. baby. Sure. 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 Um, the, the, I didn't mean to step on your toes there. Uh, the, the bone marrow thing, a lot of people don't understand maybe what that is, so I, I don't want to jump ahead, yeah. but that's good. Yeah. It is kind of confusing. Bone marrow is where your stem cells are produced. And once the stem cells are produced, they go through your blood system. So, and, and those stem cells fight most of your diseases and stuff. Uh, so there's a weakness in your system that allows leukemia and these diseases to exist. Mm. The uh, uh, key to uh, everything is realizing that it's a very short period of time that you have to find a matching donor. There's over 7,000 uh, things that affect the match and you only have to get 10 of those 7,000 to match then you can become a donor and do a transplant. And the transplant is of the stem cells. Okay. It used to be that we, uh, you know, I thought of bone marrow and, mm -hmm. and getting a spinal tap and all that is, uh, matter of fact, my wife and I, after reading all this, uh, we're going to go in and become donors, you know, and uh, we found out that you have to be between the ages of 18 and 55, and I'm well past 55, and uh, so we couldn't help. So that was kind of discouraging, and I couldn't sleep uh, thinking about it. And then finally, I called this DKMS organization, which is the largest organization in the world, about the only organization that's uh, on a major scale that started in Germany in 1991 and uh, got their information from the article in the paper, called them and they assigned a lady named uh, Joyce Jones, uh, who I've been working with daily since uh, early January trying to set up this drive. Okay. And that's all she does is covers several state areas setting up drives. Okay. Well, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank this you is, for taking you know, the initiative. Yeah, to take it on its own. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of work. I mean, to save Thanks. lives. You Absolutely. Know. Yeah, I mean, it's a really big deal. Somebody yeah. could save a life just by giving some blood. Yeah. yeah. Uh, t let's go now. So I don't want to run out of time here. Okay. So to to, to get the DNA, your DNA. Okay. Has, how do you do? Tell how you got it. Okay. The the key thing is, and, and this is what is involved in in getting this. Uh, uh, this is called a kit. You can okay. get this in the mail from DKMS, do mm -hmm. it all yourself, and mail it back to them. Okay. Um, we do it on the drive. There's several things in here. The first thing is this form, which is a one-page uh -huh. mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. You fill this out, and, of course, it's got copies we send sure. everybody. Mm -hmm. And it usually takes three to five minutes to fill that form out. Okay. Then uh, you take these swabs. Mm-hmm. There's two of them. They're kind of like a Q-tip. Okay. You take that and you rub it around your mouth. Uh huh. Yeah. On like the that. inside of your cheek for 15 seconds for each cheek. Uh huh. You take these, put them in this envelope, which is uh, you have to be careful not to touch anything, and then seal that envelope. And then they give you this card that uh, has a bar graph on it, and it identifies you from now on uh -huh. that you're a potential donor. Okay. Not a donor, but a potential donor. Potential. You're just registering, and uh, they send that to New York, and uh, in New York and in Germany, they have organizations that uh, uh, put everything on your DNA on a computer, so any hospital in the world that's dealing with uh, a blood disease can look and find a donor. Find a match. And that's, uh, that's it. it takes Five to ten minutes. That's no big deal. For some reason, I was thinking you had to give blood, that, but well, you don't unless there's saying. a match. So what you just did is basically the procedure that you're going to have to do when you go down there and help save a life. Right. That's so, awesome. Yeah. I mean, so they'll take that. You you do the swabbing inside the mouth, mm -hmm. and you send the uh, the uh, uh, two swabs through the envelope through. But uh, there's no pain. Obviously, you're just doing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. No cost. Takes maybe five minutes for the whole procedure, and they send it in. Then, if they did have a match, what would happen? Okay, then they'll contact you, and again, everything's paid for by DKMS, okay. and uh, they will line up uh, the the patient and you, and and take care of all the expenses. Now, the, the way you give the uh, the stem cells, okay. there's there's two ways, okay. and again, I say that they they don't do the old spinal tap. 
Mm -hmm. So don't, don't that's like what it. I thought when I signed up, but that's not uh, current medicine. They take it like blood. They okay. take blood out of one arm, okay. mm -hmm. run it through a machine that takes your stem cells out, and then run your own blood back into your arm. takes four to six hours uh, on the average, and uh, it's an outpatient procedure, and there's no more pain than giving blood. Wow. And now, you can save a life. Wow. Yeah. So now, four days before that, they give you uh, some injections to stimulate your stem cells to grow more. And uh, an important part of this is that, you know, younger people, that your stem cells reproduce two or three days. Okay. As you get older, it takes longer. So mm -hmm. that's the reason of the 55-year age you. limit. You can actually uh, donate up to uh, age 61 if you've registered before you're okay. age 55. So, the, so if somebody does give the blood, obviously it's not going to harm you because okay. your system replenishes those, those cells back quickly. Yeah. And, again, they take it and... Once once they process it, they put the blood back in your system, and then they use that for somebody yeah. else that could save a lot. And you know, you're trying to find genetic twin. Uh, the sad thing is that uh, even since 1991, when DKMS started, they've registered 3.6 million people out of seven billion in the world. Right. And that's less than 0 0.05 percent of the people in the world are registered and that's the main problem there uh, most of the people could probably find a match and get cured if they just we've got about two minutes out of that number and i'll let you ask okay. out of that number what percentage of those matched up do you know okay. it's small yeah most uh 30 percent find a match in their family and the rest have to find a, a, what okay. i call a perfect stranger okay and uh overall four out of ten people find a match Oh, that's pretty so, better than I thought. You know, the, the clock's ticking today. There are about over 10,000 people waiting for a match. Wow. And they have 6 to 18 months to find a match. And 60% of those are going to die because they can't. can't and the, the key factor is it's the number one killer of children in mm -hmm. the United States. Show that picture, please, of that, yeah, that this, four kids. These oh, yeah. are four boys, oh, the Murray poster. brothers, mm -hmm. and uh, they live in St. Louis. All four of them have a rare blood disease, and all four of them are waiting for a transplant, which is the only thing that can save their lives. Wow. They, they've had over 10,000 people in the St. Louis area come in and register, but they haven't found a match for them. Okay. We're running out of time, and I really wanted to let everybody know how you get a packet and who you need to call, where you need yeah, to go. Yeah, let's do the date and deal, because we've got about a minute left. Yeah, we've well, got we're going to have this drive at the uh, Ozark Expo on uh, the 6th of April, That's all day Pioneer Saturday. Pavilion. Yeah, okay. it's a Saturday from 9 to 6. It's in uh, at the, uh, North Arkansas College uh, South Campus and Pioneer Pavilion on the lower level. Mm -hmm. And we'll be next to the hospital's uh, okay. community health drive, so it'll be easy to find us. And we'll do all this for you, and it'll take you about 10 minutes. Gosh, uh, what, a, what a great 10 minutes you could spend yeah. maybe helping somebody save a life. Not often you get a chance to save a life no. personally. You get yeah. to meet this person after you save their lives. Wow. wow. Thanks. What if I wanted to do that and I didn't? I was out of town that weekend, or you know, I couldn't yeah, you, show that uh, up that day. Just look DKMS, which is a strange acronym because it's German. It's initials for German okay. name. But if you go to DKMS, um, that's all you need to put on there. It'll bring up their website. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can go on there and order the kit. Okay. They'll send okay. all that to you and do it. And mail it back to them. Okay. Fantastic. That's good, and I'm, people didn't know that. And that's a good point. If somebody can't make it out to the expo on April the sixth, this is a big deal that uh, that the three main organizations, the Lions, the Rotary, and the Kiwanis, are all getting together. Jeff Lars been the spearhead. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for so your much. personal time and great explanation that's that today. That's Sorry we ran out of time, but don't forget April sixth. Go out to the expo, Pioneer Pavilion. They'll be set up there. You could save a life by just giving just a swab inside your mouth. It could be a Thanks for Big being deal, with us please. today. We appreciate it. Thank you for joining us.